Hey guys, what is up and welcome to my channel. It's a hardback life. My name is Jordan and today we're going to be doing a book haul. But before we start this book haul officially, you guys, I just wanted to say that if somebody tells you that you are wasting your time and your money on like your passion, whatever your passion is, then you should just, you, you shouldn't pay them any attention, pay them any mind, because you're doing what you love, you love at the end of the day. I recently had some people in my life tell me that I'm wasting my time and money buying books and, you know, reading and whatever, when I should be spending my money on other things and I'm just like reading is what I love to do and I also love book collecting and that's me if you don't like it then that's whatever not everybody's the same and that's what you gotta be like at the end of the day like I'm not hurting you by doing this whatever but yeah, that's just my whole um, thing. And someone on another booktuber reminded me of that. And I thank them for that because I would feel bad. Like for some reason, I would feel bad for buying a book. People in my life would just tell me that, you know, that my passion isn't like is a waste of time. But yeah, anyway. Let's segue into something more joyful, like my book haul that I'm about to do right now. Uh, so yeah, today I'm going to do a book haul for you. This will be my third book haul, I believe. Yes, my third book haul, because I did one in June and then one in July. I skipped August because I don't think I bought many books in August. Yeah, I don't think I did. And so now we're just going to do a book haul video in September, which I guess 11 books is a lot for me to buy in two months. Yeah, so, but yeah, so there's 11 books on this book haul. But before we officially get into this book haul, I want to share something with you real quick. Okay, so... We went on vacation in September 4th through the 11th. I had to think about that. And my sister lives in, like, we went to Newport Beach in California. And my sister lives in L.A., which is an hour away from Newport Beach. So she came and visited us at our hotel. And then we came and visited her throughout the week in her, um, her place that she has with her roommate. And her roommate is also an old friend of ours, so it was good catching up with her. And that's how I'm going to shout out in this video is her roommate, Taylor, who was kindly and graciously enough nice to give me this. She gave me the 13 Reasons Why uh, vinyl uh, for Season 2, the soundtrack for Season 2. I just mentioned to her that I've been trying to build up my record collecting because my sister gave me a record player. It's this beautiful blue thing right here, if you can see it kind of, behind me. And I only have, this is my third record because, I mean, records, like vinyls, cost a lot of money. <laughs> But you know what? Every time I can buy one, I'll buy it. Um, but yeah, so I got it Christmas, and I, I have the well, first thing that was gifted to me, along with the record player, was Adele's 21. And that is one of my favorite albums of all time. And, oh, I didn't say this, but Taylor... Um, works with a record company that is also connected to 13 Reasons Why, so 
Um, just, yeah, wanted to shout her out. This is so good, you guys. Um, it has a lot of uh, some well-known artists and some that are not well-known. If you don't check out the show, I would at least, if I would check out the music that comes from it. Yeah. Anyway, so on to the book haul. Sorry, that was just like a long, a long thing. I know. But let's get on with it. Okay, so there's 11 books on this book haul, like I said. Book number one is The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. He's a debut... I think Micaiah is a guy. I, I actually don't know. But Micaiah Johnson, uh, this is his debut um, novel called The Space Between Worlds. It is a multiverse travel type book. So sci-fi, which I absolutely love these type of books. I read Dark Matter last month, which, no, I read that in June, sorry. I read Dark Matter, which also deals with multiverse traveling and stuff like that. And I gave that book five stars. So I'm anticipating giving this book a high rating because I just love the mul like books that deal with the multiverse and, and sci-fi, of course, you know, period. But I've heard a lot of great things about this book, so I'm looking forward to it. This is about a girl named Kara who is living, you know, regular life. And then she gets, like, her world gets threatened because... So, okay. Backstory. Um, there are th over 300 versions of her on other different worlds obviously but they keep dying and she ends up going to um investigate i guess one of the deaths because one of the deaths um that recently happens in this book is mysterious and she i guess plans to figure it out and also, I guess one thing that is made clear is you cannot visit the world in which your count yeah your um doppelganger is alive, so there's that, and there's also an l g b t q plus representation because our um our girl main girl Kara here falls in love with. Uh, someone she works with, I guess. So, awesome. I love seeing that in books. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I know about it. Uh, but I cannot wait to read it. This is actually on my TBR. I probably will not get to it this month. Because there's only, like, it's the 21st. And there's only eight day, nine days left of the year, or... Not the year, oh my lord. Nine days left of the month. Yeah. Um, but anyway, this is Space Between Worlds by Nikaya Johnson. Next book on there is a beloved book on booktube called The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This is a historical fiction set in World War II, I believe. Um, and I think that's a picture of the Eiffel Tower. So it's set in... Paris, France. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm looking forward to reading this. Because, uh, one, it's a very hyped book. And also, just because I love historical fiction, so this was a win-win a for me. Oh, and I got it from Book of the Month um, last month. So... Yeah. Okay, next book on this list uh, it should not be a surprise to any of you because you know I've been rereading the Twilight series. And so, here it is. Midnight Sun 
by Stephanie Meyer. This is a companion novel to the Twilight series. Uh, this is actually a standalone, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's a companion novel, standalone. This is a Twilight retelling via Edward's perspective. So, um, I'm just wondering what the differences will be. Midnight Song by Stephanie Meyer. Okay, next book is called Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, I think is how you say her name. This is an African fantasy. Um, our main character is part of a Orishi tribe, I think is how you say it. And in this book, their magic gets stolen. And so our main character vows to get it back. And that's just the premise of the book. And I'm looking forward to uh, reading it. I'm actually reading it this week because I have wanted to read this book since it came out. But I just never um, like went to go buy it. Or like I've seen it in stores a lot and I'm just like... Oh, I'll get it another day or read another time, you know. But now I'm going to do it. So look for my, um, um, I think I'm going to do a non-spoilery and spoiler-filled video. So first part will be spoiler-free and then second part will be spoiler-filled. Video coming probably at the end of the week. So be looking for that. Next book is uh, the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Riordan. This is the third series set in um, the Percy Jackson world, Greek mythology. And uh, yeah, because Percy actually makes an appearance in the series. I don't know if he stays in the book series for the whole thing. This is the fourth book. Like I don't know if I said that. But they're called the Tyrant's Tomb. But basically, uh, Apollo does something that angers Zeus. And so to punish him, to punish Apollo, Zeus makes him mortal. Like, Apollo loses his powers. And Ze Zeus will not give him his powers back until... Um, I guess Apollo corrects his mistake or changes or something. I don't know. But I've read a portion of the first book and I loved what I was reading. But I had to stop because they were making references, I think, to Percy Jackson, which I have not finished. I've read the first three books in that series. And that is one of my 2020 goals, actually, is to finish the Percy Jackson series. There you have it. And, yeah, like I said, this is the fourth book. And the fifth and final book comes out, I think, within the next couple months. So I'm looking forward to that. Alright, so our next two books are a duology. And they are written by an author who I've been wanting to read uh, books from, but I just have not found the time and that is Monsters of Verity duology by Victoria Schwab um, now she goes by V.E. Schwab in her like other books but this is probably one of her biggest series other than Shades of Magic and um, Vicious but yeah this is uh, I think it's a middle grade um Basically, what happens in this book series is there is a war going on between the monsters and the humans, which our main character, one of our main characters, Kate Harker, her father created the monsters, I believe. And our other main character, August Flynn, is a monster, and he wants to be human, which, which by the way, is crazy. Um, like within this book series, 
He wants. He longs to be human. Oh, and his ability is. Um, he he steals the um, um, the souls from humans with the help of song, and he has a violin where he does that. And I think it's really cool using music as a weapon in fantasy. I've never really seen that before. I mean, I probably have. I just never read it before, I'll say that. And they, I guess they, they meet by, like, an assassination attempt going awry. That, that's, I think that's correct. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But that's just the premise of the book series. And I'm really excited to read it. Oh, the book started This Savage Song and book two, Our Dark Duet. So looking forward to reading them. Our next book is Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. This is the third and final book in the Truly Devious series by, like I said, Maureen Johnson. This is a um, murder, a YA murder mystery book. Uh, it's set, or well, it's set back and forth between the 1930s and the present time, which the first book was written in 2016, so yeah, like around that time, so present day though. And our main character, Stevie Bell, uh, attends the private school, Ellingham Academy, where her um, goal is to solve the crimes of the kidnapping slash murders that happened in the 1930s. And like I said, it goes back and forth between the past and the present. So you see characters from both eras and how things happened in the 1930s of when the murders happened and stuff like that. And you see our main character, Stevie Bell, trying to solve them. And also in the book series, she not only has to try and solve the murders that happened back then, but also murders that are happening within the story and present day. And that's not a spoiler. It actually tells you that in the synopsis of the series. So I read um, Truly Devious at the beginning of the month. Loved it. So, cannot wait to pick up the second book, which is somewhere around here. And then, like I said, this is the third book. Okay, so our next book is Incarceron by Car Catherine Fisher. I almost said Carrie Fisher. Um, Catherine Fisher. Uh, this is about a boy named Finn who it has grown up in this technological, technologically advanced prison, and he believes he's lived in the outside world once, but of course he doesn't really remember it. And his main objective is to escape the prison and be part of the outside world. And he meets a, the other main character who... Um, I can't remember her name, but she is the daughter of the warden who runs the prison. And they make a bargain. They make a deal. She ha He has to help her get out of her arranged marriage. And she's going to help him get out of the prison. And that's the gist of it, basically. It's a duology, by the way. I don't think I shared that. And I cannot wait to read it. I've only read, seen one book review on this. So I'm just going to go into it with average expectations. So hopefully they're met and they're met even above. All right. And Carson. Oh, there's also some steampunk elements in that book, the book series, I guess. So, yeah. Next books, our next book is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. 
This is, um, I don't remember what time period it's set, or what year it's set in, but our main character goes to a school, and she gets involved, I guess, in the occult, and they cast some spells which go terribly wrong, and they have to deal with the consequences of that, so... That's all I know about Ninth House by this is by Lee Bardugo, who I'm reading Six of Crows right now and loving that book. And by the way, I love this cover. The snake. I don't like snakes, but the way it looks, it's just very aesthetically pleasing. And yeah, can't wait to read it. Our next book is Dun, da, da, da. Sarah J. Mass, Empire of Storms. This is the fifth book in the Throne of Glass series. This is the fifth of seven. And I don't know if I'm going to finish this book series because, I mean, it's seven books, so that's a huge commitment. But um, I want to. I have the first five now, so... There's no reason I can't get started as soon as possible. But then there's also, um, I do want to finish the main trilogy of A Court of Thorns and Roses. So, there's that. But I will get to this series at some point, I'll just say. Um, if you don't know what Throne of Glass is, it's a very popular YA series about a girl named Sel Selena Sardothian, who is an assassin. And she basically gets uh, thrown into this competition where she has to where she has to fight everyone else so that she could be the king's assassin. And yeah. This is Empire of Storms, like I said, the fifth book in the series. Our final book on this book haul is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. Now, this book is about a girl named um, Amira Tucker, who is a nanny to a white family. She's a um, person of color, by the way. She's African American. She's the nan um, a nanny, and she takes a little girl to a grocery store. This is just the setup. And when she's at the grocery store, um, a security guard eventually comes up to her and accuses her of kidnapping the child. And the vid, like someone's filming this and it goes viral and it's just very, very bad situation that gets even worse. So I'm really, really excited to uh, continue this book. I've already started it. And yeah, it's gotten really good so far. Great. That was my book haul, you guys. I'm actually going to um, be doing another video soon about... Well, I'm going to have a lot of videos lined up. Like, I have a lot of planned. Like, I'm going to do, obviously, uh, some book reviews of books I plan on reading. And then also, I'm going to do this thing every once in a while where I dedicate a portion of my books in that month to an author. So, October, I'm going to be doing a dedication month for Stephen King, where I read, um, where my TBR is going to be like f maybe five or six of his books. That's just so I, I can get a feel for the author and also read more of their books, like be more dedicated to it. And so, yeah, I'm going to do a video about that where I'm going to talk about it and some of the books I will be reading from that author. Anyway, you guys, that was my book haul video. Um, if you liked what you um, saw, please like and subscribe. That would be very appreciated. And I'm almost at 100 subscribers, which is really awesome. I just wanted to share that with you. And thank you all for watching.
拜。